mean, that's as close to chrome as you're going to get. Welcome to DMOP Garage and in today's episode we are continuing with the plating. This time we've done the zinc, now we're going to do cobalt nickel. So as you would have seen in the previous video, check these little suckers out. And this is what we, we did with the different kinds of zinc phosphate. And what we want to do, we've got this little bracket here which is for the 56 oval beetle. That's the mirror bracket. We want to nickel plate that. And we've got some other parts that we're going to try and nickel plate too. So let's come over to the bath. We're setting it up here. So there's the nickel solution. It's green and I've got it in the bain-marie. We've got it heating up at the moment and uh, I'm not sure what sort of temperature we can get out of this thing. So we will see. We will see. We want to get it up to about 55 degrees Celsius for the part the plating to work so oh yeah that actually is getting hot so that's a good thing yeah that is getting warm so it'll probably take a while for the solution to get up to temp once we've done that then we can start setting up we've got our rods we've got our nickel anodes that we have to put into these little baskets here i'm going to hang them inside and then we can start looking at getting some things now i do have a couple of parts here that we're going to nickel plate these are for the stretchers in the ambulance and i just figured why not we'll, we'll wire brush those and polish them up as best we can and they will be the first things that we're going to try and plate today so again never done this before so it's going to be an interesting uh experiment so yeah let's just wait till we get that up to temp and then we can continue from there one eternity later okay guys so we finally it's taken about an hour and a half for this thing to get up to temperature yes yeah, kind of doing my head in a little bit but anyway we've got it we've got it set up at the moment we're looking at about uh, 50 52 degrees celsius in the tank which is perfect and we've got our rod set up and also these are the anode little baskets that we had to <laughs> make. Yeah, they were sort of annoying actually to make. So we're going to have to hang those up inside the tank, either side on the positive and then the negative, we're going to have our pieces hanging. So this is what I've got so far. That's a little bracket. And we've also got another little bracket. These things I've taken on the wire wheel and also given them a bit of a polish but we're going to give them another clean as well i've got some auto thinners just because i polished it i don't know whether this cleaner is actually going to take the polish off so i'm just going to spray them down with that anyway and put them back into here but we're yeah we're pretty much ready to go so this plating method takes about 45 to 50 minutes so it's going to be a lot longer i also did get this piece ready too so this is that piece for the 56 beetle so i've polished that as best i could because the better you polish it, the better your results will be. So that one, you can see it in the light there. It's pretty, pretty nice. So, all right, we're going to give these guys a final clean and we'll dunk these suckers into the butt, into the bath and we'll get ready to go. Right, so we are commencing plating. We just started. So 45, 50 minutes, basically. We've got the two parts in there. Again, these are just parts that aren't, not too worried about them. But yeah, we've got glee eight anodes around nickel anodes and the two parts in the middle. And we are running at about 1.7 amps. So yeah, let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. I'll see you back here in 45 minutes. Okay, our 48 minutes is up. Let's, <laughs> let's see what happens. I've turned off the power. So we're just going to remove our pieces. We've got to dunk them in some water. Oh yes, very nice. Let's go and check that out. Yeah, there's a little bit of, let's just have a look at, show you guys here. I'll put it in the sun. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Look at that, that's shiny there's a little bit i don't know what that is that could be too much current maybe let's have a look on this side or maybe it's not clean enough that is still pretty damn shiny though and for the first effort i don't mind that at all 
All right, let's check the other piece. We'll go and hang that up. That's got to dry. All right. Okay, let's look at the damage on this one. So, yeah, I've got a feeling it wasn't prepared properly because if you look at the copper, the copper's glistening and the part is kind of a little bit on the cloudy side. So I've got a feeling... Oh, that side's better. That side is better. I wonder if we were... We might have needed a few more amps on this, to tell you the truth, because I think that looks like it was trying to plate but this is the first plate you know effort so i mean that looks amazing that's um that's really good uh now you can buff this up on the on the on the buffer as well once it's done its thing so yeah we'll go and hang that up we've got one more piece to put in uh which is our visor part so we'll get that ready all right let's get this other piece in Okay, this is our next piece that we're going to put in. There might still be some bubbles on there. Turn the power on. 1.7, I think, is what we said, and we'll let that go all right bring you back in in another 45 minutes well there you go guys so i gave those just a little bit of a, a rub back with some paper and uh, polish and yeah they come up pretty damn good and look these weren't fantastic straight off the bat anyway so i think um for the first effort that's not bad at all i've got a feeling this is going to come out a lot better because i spent a bit more time polishing the parts as well so but you know this is a hook and uh, just to keep the seat up so yeah i'm happy with that for the first effort uh, we'll see when this one comes out in a second right oh 45 minutes is up let's have a look at the damage on this piece I'll turn the power off Oh yeah. That's looking pretty damn good. I think that's a lot better than the other ones. Yeah. I think it's in the preparation. You've got to get them really shiny. Let's just dump that in here. Yeah, that's uh, pretty good. I mean, that's as close to chrome as you're going to get, and especially plating at home too. Stoked. Absolutely stoked. That's amazing. And I mean, that still hasn't been buffed yet. You put it on the polisher afterwards, and that comes, comes up even better. All right. Well, I think we'll give it another dunk here. It's supposed to drip dry. I don't know if you really have to or not, but I'll just place it over here. And there it is pelated i'm liking this new toy this is great all right guys i've got a couple of other parts that it just dawned on me need doing and i'll show you them over here this is uh the ashtray on the 56 you can see that is absolutely hammered there's the front face for it that's hammered this little piece here is all pitted, so I can do those three. And then we've got that face plate too for the ashtray. That's the back one, that's the front one. So yeah, all this stuff here can get plated. Obviously it all has to be sandblasted and, and polished. You've got to get all that pitting off it, but I think uh, that'll be one of the next jobs we're gonna do. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the nickel cobalt plating video. Only a quick one. But it just goes to show you, you know, you can do this stuff at home. People think, oh, you know, they've got to take it to a, a plating place. That system cost me about 1300 bucks, And the only reason it was 1300 
was I bought a bigger power supply, which was $280. Now you can get one of these kits for about 600 bucks without with a smaller power supply that will still do this work. Um, but I just wanted it bigger in case I want to do bigger bike frames and other bits and pieces. So totally stoked. The Bone Marie worked really well. It just took a long time to get up to temperature. Now uh, you can see here I'm running this little ink, ink bird. Um, it's right on 56, 57 degrees Celsius and it just kicks in and out and turns that on. But I think in the future, uh, what I will do is probably get the solution and just heat it up under a uh, in a pot just to get it up to temperature because it took ages. This thing here took probably an hour to get you know from 15 degrees Celsius up to up to 55. So if you wanted to fast track it, that would be the go. But um, apart from that, look, everything else went really well. Not a problem at all. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we'll uh, catch you in another video. Thanks again to the new subscribers, and we'll see you in another one.